Hi everybody, Josh from Steering South here. And today I want to talk to you about this little guy. Ooh. So for those of you who are looking for a nice little portable vlogging camera, um, I want to tell you what, today what I think about the DJI Osmo Pocket. So we've had the Pocket for about a month, yeah about a month now, and I love it. Um, it is just so tiny and convenient and easy to bring with. It's lightweight, the battery lasts plenty long for what we do, and it's just, it's nice. You got your, your gimbal controlled uh, camera. I'll give you a little shot of the gimbal in action. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, so you get nice, stable shots with it. And yeah, I've been a big fan of DJI products. So this, uh, I was actually excited to get a hold of this when it finally came out. Um, so here, I'll kind of give you a look at the screen. We're well, not going to be able to see the screen very well. But um, it's got just the tiniest little screen. And it's, and it's perfect. Um, yes, it is small. But... The beautiful thing about the pocket is you can slide your little phone connector right into this uh, expansion port and you connect your phone right to it and then you have your phone has the large viewfinder and it's just it works really great. Um, most of the time I don't use the I don't use my phone on it. Um, when you switch it into selfie mode by tapping the button three times it goes into face track mode and the camera will actually just keep track of my face as I go around you can maybe see that it's rotating and continuing to point at me which is great um, especially when you have this tiny of a screen it's not like you can sit there and and look at it especially with your hand out like this but it's nice because that thing will just keep tracking your face and perfect for your first person view type uh, vlogging uh, what else is great about this thing um, another really cool feature of the Osmo Pocket is uh, its panoramic uh, setting you can get into. So watch when I do a panoramic. Watch the uh, watch the gimbal. All you have to do is hold it up right, and it takes four separate pictures, just like that. It takes the four pictures and it automatically knits them into one big beautiful landscape panoramic. You can do another mode with the panoramic where it does nine different pictures, like that, and it just does this huge panoramic sews those all together so you get a really nice big big picture and all you have to do is hold the camera steady while it takes it you can shoot time-lapse videos with it you can shoot slow motion videos with it um, I've heard of people having problems with it but I I have had great luck with it so far you can even you can even look at uh, or watch your videos and uh, look at the things you've done right here on this tiny little screen which isn't the best but you get an idea of what you've shot um, you can access a lot of the settings right from here, different modes. Um, so like, let's see here. So like you can have it in tilt lock mode where it won't allow you to pivot. Like the, the gimbal won't pivot up and down, it just kind of locks that mode. You can have it in first person view mode, which I think is just a lot more responsive, faster reaction time, like if you're thinking of like going through a roller coaster type thing. Or uh, you can have it on follow where basically wherever you turn the camera it'll slowly turn to that same position so you get a nice smooth transition from one shot to the next and it's really really smooth um, and there's two different follow modes you can have it in slow follow or fast follow depending on how quick you want it to react to your movements if you've used any of the Osmo products um, they have a big giant Osmo or the Osmo mobile um, that you strap your phone into we have one of those and just like that, you know, you double click the button and it recenters the camera. Um, and this one triple click and boom, right into selfie mode. Great for vlogging, like I said. And even mid, mid recording, you can flip it and go back around and continue on showing everybody what you're looking at. Uh, really great camera. I think it was 350 when we bought it. Um, 
The battery, like I said, lasts quite a long time. SD card slot is right here, super easy to get to, pop it in and out. It comes with um, the adapters for iPhones and I think newer Android phones too. Don't quote me on that, not a big Android guy. And this little case, handy little case to store it in. And you gotta check this out, this is one of the, I think this is one of the coolest features. So when you hold the button and it shuts off, it automatically rotates the camera head the way you want it to be when you put it in the case. And then it holds it there a little bit stable so that it doesn't flop around. And then you can just clip it in the case, good to go. Easy to throw in your pocket, your purse, anywhere. Super easy. Strap it to your hand, whatever. Uh, great camera though. We did have uh, one little issue with it. The gimbal was like stuck kind of tilted like that. And we weren't sure what was going on, but I found the recalibrate setting in here and you just set the thing down recalibrate it and it's all good now. Um, the other thing about it though is it gets hot. This whole section here where you hold your hand gets pretty hot after you know five ten minutes of recording it's really starting to cook. Um, so maybe not for maybe not the ideal camera for really long uh, shots or long recordings but if you're just you're popping it out you're doing a couple few minutes here and there you're not gonna have any problems it's not gonna heat up on you. And it's not like it gets so hot you can't touch it. It just, it starts to get pretty warm. Uh, they do have a ton of accessories out for it. They've just started releasing more accessories. Um, one of the big ones I want to get here, the bottom here is a USB-C type port, I believe. And the, uh, they have an attachment that's a 3.5 millimeter audio adapter so you can plug in an external microphone. That's something for sure I want to get. Um, they have a, a base on it that you can turn it into a Bluetooth module to connect to your phone if you don't want to do it this way. Kind of like a GoPro mount. You can It's like a clamp that goes on here and allows you to use like, GoPro accessories for it. Uh, they're going to have a charging case come out that has like a battery built into it. So that when you slap this thing in there, boom, it's charging it. Next time you pull it out, you should have a full battery ready to shoot. And I think that would be really nice because we haven't had an issue with it running out of battery like during the day but I could see where it you know, could get that way if you're doing a lot of shooting. Um, oh, another thing to highlight, it does have uh, multiple microphones, one in the bottom and one in the front here, and what that allows it to do is cancel other noises, which I was actually pretty impressed with how well it performed with wind. Um, it's, it's not perfect, it's not as good as you would with like an external mic with a nice fluffy uh, wind guard on it, but it does pretty good for how small and uh, compact this little camera is. Uh, I would definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to be out vlogging on the go. Um, like I said, it's turned into our go-to camera. This is the one we use, and yeah, it's awesome. All right, so I'm gonna do a little side-by-side -side shoot. Okay, so right now I'm recording on both cameras. And so you can kind of see the difference. This is just a Canon Rebel T6i um, for reference. And you can kind of see the difference here. Um, right now it's it's got the face tracking going on. So you can see it's following me, keeping track of my face. Um, yeah, and just nice smooth footage. I mean, you can see I'm kind of messing with the, the camera right now. Yeah does pretty good. So that's all I have to say about the DJI Osmo Pocket. Um, yeah, I mean, pick it up. I think it's a great camera. If you're on the fence about it, I would get it. I've seen some bad reviews, but I haven't had any of the issues that I've seen people complain about. It's been just great for us. I've always been a big fan of DJI products. Um, I have a Mavic 2 Pro drone. I have this. We have the Osmo Pocket, or the Osmo Mobile. Um, for the phone thing, I also have an old DJI Phantom 3 Advanced, so um, I do like their products a lot, and this is no exception. I've been really happy with it. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you subscribe, and don't forget to like this video.